All right, welcome back here to Summertown High School for a little a little more baseball this week. Supposed to be the last game of the week. Summertown's. That's not true. Another game tomorrow. Who does? We do. What is the day? Today's, Today's Thursday. Thursday. Oh, sorry. You're right. Day is Thursday. Leadoff hitter's going to get a base hit back up the middle. Sorry, I was trying to run through the line up here and have not got there yet. That's why they pay us the big bucks. It folks. is, I guess. So. Got a group of high school girls out here on the bleachers sitting in front of my heater, and it went out. Uh, Summertown does have Huckabee on the mound throwing for them tonight. It's going to be number seven, Jackson, playing shortstop, stepping up for Richland. That was Edwards that led off with a single back up the middle, playing center field. So it toes the rubber. I'm set. Delivers at home. Squires the bunt. It's going to be bunted foul. Trying to get something moving pretty quick here. They're uh, get a bunt and get a runner moved up. I'd like to say it's a beautiful night for baseball. It is not. It is not. So. I'm, I'm, but that makes me even more impressed with the people who have come out. Yeah, tonight. we've got a lot of people yeah, here. A lot of fans here. Both yeah. sides. Richland brought a lot of people. They did. Another square to bunt. Going to pick over to first. It's not a bad pick by Hook. If he's going to square that early. Hook comes set here, ready to deliver. Squires the bunt. I ah, got him. Yeah, I got, got him. him. Yeah, got he, him. He was, was about to say safe and then changed his yeah, sign. Yeah, he changed his sign. If he'd have called that guy safe, I was fixing to have a come apart on this radio up here because <laughs> he was out. Yeah. Uh, but that was a good move right there. Uh, Coach Bartison calls for the it pitch a, out. It was a pitch out and then just a bullet to first. Yes. But it's going to it's a little too high. And if you hit anybody besides – Kane or Grayson playing yes. first, it would have been in the right field. We do have Grayson Burleson at first base tonight. Kind of run through these little few changes. Got Huckable on the mound. Zach Staggs behind the plate. Grayson Burleson's at first. Matthew Luffman's playing second. Uh, Ryder Blackwood's at shortstop. Kane Kinnick here at third. Pitch is delivered. It's going to be a wait for ball three. Makes it three balls, one strike, one out. Have Cecil Williams playing left field. Aiden Perez is in center field, and Keegan McCafferty is in right field for Summertown. Pitch hit right back at him. It's going to be off of him. Hit right back up the middle. Ed Huck, he couldn't handle that. Come off his leg. That's a tough. I think That's it was tough. off to yeah, right there. It is. Richard's led off with two hits here. Brings up Colton Trimble. Trimble will be their right fielder today. Hitting in the three hole. Pitch is delivered. Zach Staggs does a good job blocking that up. Keep the runner at first. So one ball, no strikes, got one out with a runner at first. Pitch is delivered. Ball's going to be lifted into left center field. Way's well, going back. Perez can't get there. It's going to be off the wall. They're shooting for three. Might as well hold that. He's there. So, so he hits a double off the left field wall. The guy at first had to hold up a little bit just to make sure that it wasn't going to get caught. So I'm bring up the DH. Number 20, Miller, he's DHing for Jones today, which is their pitcher. It's a good hustle out of Perez out there. Yeah, absolutely. So now we have one out with a runner standing at second and third. Definitely glad we picked off that runner earlier. Ball's going to be hit in the right field. Yeah, Keegan McCarthy's back. He is tagging. See what Keegan does. He is coming here. Grayson cuts, looks at three, but that's too late, too. Does score a run. Nice piece of hitting there. It's just just lift that ball out there in the right field, get you a runner. Runner standing at second and third. You hit the ball to the backside, 99% of the time he's going to score. Yes. So bring up number three, Andrews, their second baseman. They have played one run with two outs with a runner at third. 
It's going to be delivered up and in. Ball one. Buck will come set and delivers. He called strike one. It's on the outside corner. Buck delivers. Ball's lifted into left field. Williams will get under it. Yeah, Will, Williams tracked that ball well back there, made the catch for the third out of the inning. Is, uh, Richland does come up with three hits and one run in the top of the first inning. So, Summertown needs to see, come in and see if they can at least match it, if not double it. This yes. is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Right now. All right, we're back. Grayson Bartleson going to step in and lead off for Summertown. Like I said, a few changes in the lineup tonight. Got Grayson leading off. Aiden Perez is in the 2 0. Kane Kinnick is in the 3 0. Zach Staggs is back in cleanup for us tonight. Yeah, Zach Staggs will be back in the 4 hole. Strike one. That's called strike one. Pitching for Richland is Luke Jones. He comes set here, delivers this pitch. He's going to be in a dirt away for ball one. Make it one ball, one strike. Lawrence County had a couple of games down there tonight, one softball, one baseball, both very lopsided, but they went different directions. Softball won big, looks like baseball lost big. But one ball, one strike. Jones comes set here to deliver. He does. Grayson's going to foul that one off into the net over here in front of the third base dugout. So one ball. Two strike. Two strike. <clears throat> Jones delivers. Yeah. It'll be a ball out. Good tank right there by Grayson. Like That's I'm a tough was. pitch yeah, to lay was. off of. Yeah, right there. tough to lay off that. So two balls, two strikes. Nobody out, nobody on. Jones comes set here. Delivers. Grayson's going to hit that ball a mile high out into center field. Center fielder's going back and does make the plays. Edwards makes the play out there in center field for Richland. That'll bring up Aiden Perez. Uh -huh. 
I don't think you're going to be able to get this one in either, buddy. <laughs> Kane Kinnick is next. Zayden Perez steps up. Kane Kinnick's on deck. He's going to be up and in for ball one. Aiden's been swinging the bat really well as of late. He has. Got off to a slow start with us, but he's, he's sure turned it around the last couple of weeks, that's for sure. Ball's going to be down. Ball two. I better watch how I'm calling him quick, ain't it? I might ought to wait on the umpire. Well, he threw that pitch a minute ago. I yeah. thought it was a ball, and then he signaled a strike after it was, you know. Ball's going to be up for ball three. Makes it three up. Like I see Perez get on right here. His wheels and stuff on the bases sure helps. Yes, that it does. Be a fastball right down the middle for strike one. He's got to do it two more times. You got to be ready for it right here yes. to come back. Hey, Same three one. Spot. This is most definitely a hitter's count. You're sitting on dead red fastball. He was going to hit a ground ball third base. Third base makes a nice play. Throws over to first. Will be the second out of the inning. Gonna bring up Kane Kinnick. Then once he steps in. Okay. Kane Kenny's going to step in. And Zach Staggs is on deck. If we can't get something rolling here with two outs. Kane swings through that first pitch. Strike one. Jones comes set here and delivers to the plate. Ball's going to be down. Ball one makes it one ball, one strike with two outs. Nobody on. Jones delivers. Hang swings through that breaking pitch for strike two. Got to readjust what we're doing here, Will. Two strikes on us now. Got to be one ready ball. to protect. Ball's going to be away for ball two. And that's not a bad pitch to throw right no, there. No, it's one not. Two. That's not. You know, just miss the plate about eight inches outside and see if you can get him to chase. Kane does a good job not. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Pitch is delivered. Kane's going to hit that ball right back up the middle for a base hit. Summertown's first hit of the game. I think it's worth saying the, the one kid that who's who got the walk-up music got the hit. <laughs> and the first two, there was no walk up music, yeah. and they were out. So I got Zach Staggs coming up. I think we're on to something. All right. Now we got it figured out now. There we go. Zach Staggs is going to step in. Kane Kinnick at first base. Jones comes to set here, delivers home. Zach takes that breaking pitch for strike one. Nick's been swinging the bat well, too. He has. Here of late. That's not a strike. Come on, now. It's going to be a breaking pitch on the inside for strike two. I was going to kind of argue the first one. But. So. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Pitcher comes set here. Delivers. It's going to be outside. Previous pitch. That's not a strike. Don't look like it from here, Will. So first inning, though. We ain't going to argue much. Not to start with, I ain't. Not yet. Kane's gone. Called strike three. That was a fastball. So to end the inning. We'll take a little break for swapping sides as uh, Richland outscores Summertown in the first inning. This is one to nothing. It's just Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, 
diabetes management plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. At CNB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CNB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CNB Linen because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. All right, we're back. It's going to be number six, Ken Cannon. Philip Ken Cannon coming up. He's trying to see. We went out, got the correct pronunciation to that one. We did. Ball's going to be grounded foul down the third base side. All right. What's the matter, Timmy? My lineups are jacked up. All right, this is going to be number 22 wit. I've got lineups from three weeks ago still on my phone. First pitch called strike. Now, this is still Ken Cannon. No. He grounded he the grounded ball foul. foul. Sorry, this is Ken. Number six, Ken Cannon, playing third base for him. He just made a nice play over at third base. Sure did. It's going to be ball up. So one ball, two strikes. I was looking at a uh, – Wayne County lineup, trying to figure out where Ken Cannon was. <laughs> it happens. Ball's going to be grounded over third base. Kane Kinnick fields, throws over to first. First out of the inning. Nice job. This will be Witt. Number 22, Sir their hind catcher. It's going to be Gage Witt. Called strike one. I don't necessarily agree with that pitch, guys. I'm sorry. No, it went for us, but. Ball will be fouled out of play. Makes it 0-2. That first pitch strike just looked away to me, Joe. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was away. Okay. But it did go for us, so. Counts 0-2 with one out. Pitch delivered. Swung through. Strike three. Backstags pops up. Throws the ball around the infield. I always kind of hold my breath when they start that because it turns into a bad thing when one of our guys throw it to center field. Yeah. So. Wilson Shirey. She's going to hit that ball into – the gap in right center field, couldn't nobody get there. It's just kind of poked out there for the first hit here. It's going to bring up number 10, Mayo. Playing left field for him today. Tucker Mayo. Good lead over at first. He's got him one of them muffin mitts on over there. They're not going away, Timmy. <laughs> I wish it would. <laughs> but, I mean, look how much longer it makes his hand. I mean, that ought to be illegal. Look how he's wearing it. If he holds his hand down beside him, if he holds them both down, that, his hand's five inches longer on one side than it is the other. Helps you get back to the base quicker. Still looks like something my grandma used. <laughs> Huckable comes set here, delivers. 
when we ball up. First pitch was fouled off. I missed it, making in front of the muffin mitt, sorry. I'm still waiting on somebody to show up with Grandma's flowery one like <laughs> we were talking about the other day. Pitch is going to be lifted into center field. Aiden Perez looks like he's got a bead on it. Does. It's third out of the inning. Going to get Summertown out of that one pretty easy. So, I'll take do it. give up one hit there. but No runs. Uh, no runs. So, as we're coming in and swapping sides, we'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-9799. Hood Company Real Estate is highlighting the beautiful home located at 786 Hillview Drive in Lawrenceburg as this week's property of the week. This spacious four bedroom, four bath brick residence sets on a picture perfect three plus acre lot and features an attached extra large two car garage. This is a solid custom built home with many updates including a new HVAC system and tankless hot water heater plus the price has recently been reduced. For more on this and many other homes check out hoodcompanyhome.com or phone All right, we're back. So Keegan McCafty's up with Ryder Blackwood on deck for Summertown. It's going to be a first pitch ball away. Keegan's another that's been hot with a stick yeah. here lately. He's, he's really come on strong and helped us. It's going to be in the dirt away. It's this Luke Jones kid. I know I've seen him play basketball. Yes, he does. I wonder if he plays football too. Uh, no. They tried to get him to. I don't think he does. Ball's going to be fouled off here at the plate. You know, he used to be a runt. I always thought he was going to be built like his dad, which his dad's like 5'8". Well, he's not a runt now. No. We we uh, played Richland in football this year. We did not play them in basketball. Uh, it was actually our only win in football. Are you rubbing it in with No, him? no. <laughs> Sounded like he was trying to I rub mean, it what, in. What can well, you, you know rub, we got some wrestling people listening. I say, what can you rub in when you won one <laughs> game? Won one game, that's right. Yeah. So, going to be delivered down and away for ball three. Makes a count three balls in one strike here. And Keegan, a leadoff walk would be nice. That would be. As you know, Keegan's the luckiest base runner in the state of Tennessee. <laughs> he is. Ball's going to be popped up. That was a that's 3 1 count. That's the pitch you're looking for. That was a fast ball that Jones, I think, Jones took a little off of just trying to get it across the plate, and he did. Keegan just missed just it. Just missed it and fouled it back straight over our heads. Three balls, two strikes as Jones comes set here and ready to deliver. Yep, it's going right to be called strike three. I don't know why we're taking that pitch. I mean, there was just – there's no debate in that one, right? No. No, there ain't no it debate in that one. right on the outside part of the yeah. plate. Bring up Ryder Blackwood. Look what he's got up his sleeve. First pitch is going to be grinded towards the second base one. Second base one just – I just let it between his legs. I can't. I don't huh. really know what happened there. I thought he had it. I think the same thing happened tell. in the middle school game on yes. the play. You can tell he's Another frustrated. Shortstop. 
You can tell he ain't used to doing that. He's mm-hmm. He acts a little frustrated out there over that one. Does so get Ryder Blackwood Bill, on. Bill Buckner moment. Bring yeah, everybody Matthew has Luffman. Him. Yeah. Matthew Luffman steps in. Pitch is going to be up. Have Cecil Williams on deck. Hitting behind Matthew today. Pick over the first. Riders back easy. Pick over the first again. I don't think Ryder had much of a lead. He look at her, he's got him a muffin mitt. Yep. Matthew squares the bunt, pulls back. It's going to be ball two. I think he was slash hitting there as the third baseman was coming hard. Is it two of them? Yeah, two balls, no strikes. One out. Runner at first. Well, Ryder's got him a pretty good lead over there now. Yeah, he does. And he added to it again. Ball's going to be hit towards the third baseman. Comes off his glove. He's going to pick it up. Throws over to first. Does get the out. That was the only play he had was it over was. at first. We'll bring up Cecil Williams. Hitting in the eight hole today. Graham Howe will be on deck. See his DHing for Huckaba. Huckaba tonight. Got two outs. Ball's going to be hit into left field for a base hit. Nice piece of hit. Ryder Blackwood's going to try to score from second. The throw is made. If the mm, I don't know if the if the third baseman don't cut that, did he have a chance? I, check out Cecil Williams. I thought it did. Yeah, Cecil Williams, the two out RBI. Single. Absolutely. First pitch swinging. You know Cecil had one of them at Lawrence County the other night. You know come yeah. in and oh. Uh, when that was a pinch hit, RBI single. Bring up Graham Howe. That will tie the tie the ball game. Big Grammy's going to step in. Cecil Williams gets him a lead at first base. Is he delivered that's, in the dirt? It's funny. I've heard a lot of people calling Grammy lately, and that's what my wife goes by as her grandma name is, is Grammy. Grammy? Yeah. What do you go by? Big Poppy. Big Poppy. Yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Grammy and Big name. Poppy. Yep. Jones comes set here and delivers home. It's going to be ball. Oh. Will be called. Uh, called strike. strike. Cecil will move up to yeah. second base. Let's see if we can see this. I don't know if the second baseman's in the way. Well, that pitch is outside. It, it's right off the, the catcher didn't even catch it. It's right off the end of his glove. Graham swings through that one for strike two. So one ball, two strikes, two outs. Cecil Williams at second base. Got Grayson Burleson on deck. Start the lineup back over. Ball's going to be in the dirt. It's going to get away from the catcher. Cecil is going to move up to third. You know, having Cecil in the lineup, being able to get him on base, he's he's got some pretty good wheels out yeah. there, you know. If I think about Cecil, you could tell last night he did not like the cold. No. He did not. <laughs> he didn't hide it. Like he, just, yeah. he had his arms crossed standing on second base last night. Two balls, two strikes. Ball's going to be in the dirt. Oh, he's going to get away again. Cecil's it. coming. He's there easy. So, makes the count three balls, two strikes. As Summertown takes the lead, Cecil Williams just does it all by himself. Yeah. Gets Ryder. Ryder Blackwood gets on on an arrow. Cecil Williams hits a single to move him. Yeah. Uh, to, or he's still second. Cecil Williams hits a single to score Ryder. Then two pass balls and Cecil Williams scores. And that will be ball four. Put Grammy down to first base. But I think Cecil, you can say Cecil Williams has scored ownership for both the runs Summertown has scored. Bring up Grayson Burson sitting in the one hole today. Aiden Perez will be on deck. 
Grammar's got him good lead over at first base. Pitch here delivered. Grayson's going to ground that ball into the 5-6 hole. Third baseman. Went by both of them. It does. I, mm, Grammy was thinking third, and uh, Jason held him up because there wasn't nobody there. I think that's, you know, that, that ball, that's a tough ball to play, but it, it's uh, it's almost it, in no man's land for the is. third baseman. And he got over in front of the shortstop. I think he threw the shortstop off he, when he got over there. Yeah. He got over in front of the shortstop and kind of threw him off a little bit. But Richland's coach is going to come out and have a little conversation. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on X Sports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and All right, Aiden Reprez is going to step in. Grayson Burleson's got his first hit of the game. That's because the walk-up music worked this time. It is. Oh. The runner standing at first and second. Aiden Perez in the box. Kane Kinnick is on deck. Strike down the middle. Yeah, call strike one down the middle. I'm going to reach back and turn my heat up a little bit, Go. Got a little breezy coming through here. Yeah. Little... Y'all get hot, you'll just have to take a shirt off. <laughs> so No balls, one strike, two outs, two on. Perez squares the bunt, gets oh, over the catcher. He got, came right back to him. And he's there. Oh, no. No, he missed that. He missed that call. He was there. He was in there. Yeah, I got to see a replay of that wheel before we go anywhere. But, but I think the ball bounced right back to the catcher, though. It, it does. Led, it led him perfect. He's, He's there. Safe, He's there. His hand was in there, but he tagged him in the head. So, but well, hey, keep it here, Timmy. After we watch this, this one the, more time, this is the third out of the inning. Um, because I got to ask you a question, Timmy. Oh Lord, don't. Yeah, Be easy on the wheel. He, he he was safe though. All right, so yeah. let's. All these old videos I've been putting out there of you know like the '92 championship and things. Well, we got to watch in this presentation of uh, CB and T Bank giving each player something and you know like here comes uh the perry kid he comes up to get his award and the, everybody's in their full uniform i mean like, everybody not everybody everybody but, was not like, you didn't get them all look see look here's here he's coming to get his award yeah i mean brent even said that y'all wore your cleats like it was just everybody was in full uniform brent said yes oh my lord except here except comes timmy except he calls out timmy kinnick's name and what does timmy come up wearing pink t-shirt yeah so what's would, that all about? Where's well, I, look? Well, I was cool. Where, where's the, I mean, <laughs> you were the one player that came up in, in anything but their jersey. So did you just not get the memo that day? I, yeah, I don't <laughs> even remember the day they done that. To be honest with you, and not June fourteenth, nineteen ninety two. June fourteenth, nineteen ninety two. I don't remember it. Well, I mean, I know you. Okay, I can. Uh, you know, you got me on the date. I guess. Uh, I honestly don't know. Uh, Cause it was like the day after or something we got back and they done all that and yeah. I don't know that you just didn't I, get the memo. Everybody I, else had their jersey on. I can't remember. Of course, you know that's the, the, the team picture was taken that day and you had a jersey on for yeah. it. So let's get back to the baseball game. <laughs> Brings up Brandon Edwards. Hits a lot, hits a ground ball to shortstop. His Ryder Blackwood fields it clean. Throws over to Grayson Burson for the first out of the game. First out of the inning. First out of the inning, not the game. Sorry, I've Will's, got, 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 Will's got, got me all tore up. I've got you right. I don't know, but I look good, Will. <laughs> sure. Huh? He I said, think sure. I was wearing some white or like white Levi's too. That was <laughs> number seven, Jack Jackson. I found the coaches' interview. Charlie Mabry had a, an hour long sit down talk yeah. with the two coaches, and I put it out there today. I had never heard it. Was that called a – That was inside that, for ball one. Yeah, he called it a ball. Uh, Sorry. One ball, one strike. Let's, let's Bider's, see. Bider's going to call a timeout here. Uh, Steps back in. I guess that was down. I'll agree with that one more than I would that last one. Here Makes it two the, balls. Here comes the previous one. Yeah, don't get much better than that for a breaking pitch. There it is again. Now, that one that's there, that's, that's a little high, a little in. Make the count. Three balls, one strike. Kyle Burleson says, why pink, Timmy? The ball's going to be popped up in the infield. 
It's like they've got two calling it, and they do call each other off. That's good. Good, job. good way to communicate He out says there. what? He says, why pink, Timmy? I don't know. Guess who said that? Kyle Burleson. I don't know, Kyle. I guess <laughs> it was cool back in, man. In 92, pink was cool. Really? I was man. I was man enough to wear pink. What about you, Will? <laughs> you ever not. been man enough to put a pink shirt on? I don't think I have. I was. Yep. In 1992, I was man enough to wear it. Wow. Ball's going to be popped up here on the infield. Grayson Burleson seems to have a beat on it. Be the third out of the inning. Summertown will come in here and see if we can't tack on a little more here. Uh, in 1992, I was in seventh grade wearing those hyper-color T-shirts. That was Yeah, see, you was then. probably wearing like rainbow-colored T-shirts. So <laughs> no. Huh? Tie-dye. Yeah. Well, you was in the tie-dye era. Uh, well, maybe. Huh? Yeah, don't tell me you wasn't. Would you, did you wear two different colored shoe strings and stuff? No. Uh -huh. Nothing like that. <laughs> that was the late 80s. Yeah. <laughs> All right, take this commercial, Timmy. All right, we'll take a little break. It's Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at Number 3 Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. All right, we're back. Aiden Perez is going to step in. Will and him still making fun of me. I'm trying to figure out why I was wearing a pink shirt. <laughs> I'm sure it was something. Aiden Perez steps in here. Bottom of the third inning. You're going to take the first pitch in the dirt. Like you said earlier, Timmy, it's because you were cool. I guess. <laughs> Poor mom probably had to I run home I could and see, get your jersey. I wish you I didn't. could see what was on that shirt. I don't Probably something somebody had give us that day, and I just stuck it on being goofy or something. We called strike one on the outside corner. That sounds more right, that I just put it on to be goofy. It was Aiden Perez is up, and Kane Kinnick's on deck. One ball, one strike, nobody out. Jones delivers here. We ball that, away. That one video with Charlie Mabry interviewing everybody. Um, you know, like he interviewed Mike Kester. Yeah. You know, Vernon Giles. Um that was it was just great to see all that. We curved ball for a strike one. Looked like to me it strike stayed two. a little in. Uh, strike, strike two, two. sorry. Looked like it stayed a little in to me. Two balls, two strikes, nobody up. I think he uh interviewed Gary Kinnick there too, didn't he? I didn't see Gary in that, that video, but you know, um Tommy Lee went around and interviewing Tommy him. Tommy Lee had interviewed him and yeah, he got I was Gary. thinking maybe had interviewed him. I didn't see him in that one. He interviewed a lot of uh, – Charlie Mabry interviewed a lot of grandmamas. Yeah. Uh, which, I'm, you know, that's special now. Yep. Three balls and two strikes. Jones comes set here to deliver to Perez. Ball's going to be hit towards the shortstop. Shortstop fields clean. Throws over to first base. So first play. out of the inning. I'm going to bring up Kane Kinnick. That hit made the uh, ball dog bark. Kane singled last time up. Zach Staggs is going to be on deck for Summertown. Kane steps in. Almost said a curse word. <laughs> I held it back, Will. Are you proud? <laughs> I'm proud. Good job. You know, Kane, Kane kind of got on top of that and rode his hands over a little bit, fouled down the third baseline. No balls, one strike, one out. Nobody on here in the bottom of the third. Summertown leads two to one. Jones comes set here and delivers. Going to ground that one that direction again. Puts him in a hole, 0-2. 
Got to be ready to fight right here. And there again, you change your approach. You got two strikes on you. You're trying to get on base. So, you know he's going to throw something all speed, breaking pitch. He ain't throwing you nothing you can drive for sure right here. But if it's close, Definitely you've got to get a fastball down yeah, the middle. You've got to be able to touch it. So, is Jones going to set on the mound? Delivers. Kane holds up. Has a fastball up. That's a good take right there. It was. And that's, that's a, a hard hard, yes. hard one to lay off of. Absolutely. So makes it one ball, two strikes. Jones turns this one loose. And he's going to pop it out of play behind us. I'll tell you something, Timmy. I'm excited about to see that box full of tapes I got. I saw a lot of middle school games from like 89, 90. You don't want to go back and watch them, Will. I embarrass a lot of people when I was in middle school, man. I know. That's your era, so I'm excited to <laughs> unbox those and pull those highlights. We'll show those in the ball game down Jones the road. Delivered. Ball's going to be popped back. That would have been ball, too. That ball was up. It was. Surprised he got his hands up there, but he's fighting. That's yeah, what you have to do. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I you mean got, in this, in can't this position, leave it up to the umpire. No, no, absolutely not. If you're taking it's because it's in the dirt. Or it's so high that it's above your eyes. Yep. Anything else, you've got to try to touch. So, one ball, two strikes, one out. Jones comes set. Ball's going to be up for ball two. All you can ask for in this situation is having it bat. Yep. <clears throat> Jones delivers. Ball's going to be hit hard at the shortstop. He Plays wow. it off his chest. That Actually, was a good made game. Right yeah, there. it was. I mean, that ball that was that ball was hit hard at the shortstop. He played it up off his chest, bounced up off his chest. He catches it barehanded and goes ahead and makes a play. That's an excellent play by that shortstop. Not a, can't complain about the bat Kane had. He moves that ball two foot either direction. It's yeah. a base hit. He battled. I mean, after he, he went down 0-2. He's seen I mean, several pitches yes. right there. That's so, what I mean. you have to do. Going to bring up Zach Staggs. Keegan McCafferty is on deck. Two outs. Jones delivers. I mean, fastball up. I think it, don't think it was supposed to be a fastball. I think it was something all speed. It looked like it had a little spin it on did. it up there. It looked like it had something. It just didn't take it, you know. It didn't cut or whatever. That happens a lot with them spinners. You turn them spinners loose, and a lot of times they, they just don't get it, get enough to get down there where they belong. Zach swings through that one for strike one. Jones comes set and delivers. Zach just kind of waved at that and it's kind of all speed away. Zach kind of waves at it. Makes it one ball, two strikes, two outs. Ball's going to be away. That's about the same place the last pitch was. Zach yes. swung it. He knew, he knew he'd messed up when he swung at it. So, gets it back to a 2-2 count. Zach to go to work right here. Scored her runs in the second inning with two outs. See if we can't do it again. Zach's going to foul that one off his leg. Glow looks warm on the doesn't it? It's because it is. Huh. If anybody's at the park watching, y'all see this pretty glow up here behind us? It's warm. And it's right behind you. Here's the uh, <laughs> foul off the foot. What are you trying to say, Will? <laughs> I can move it, dude. Jones delivers. Swung through for strike three. Got anything else you want to make fun of nope, me about? We're nope. just going to commercial. Let's go to commercial. All right. <laughs> Summertime Baseball on Exports Network. LUS is committed to our customers. From providing and maintaining energy-efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too.
All right, pictures. we're back. <laughs> Joe muted himself back. Looks like he's still eating peanuts or something. I don't know what he's chewing on over here. But it's going to be Bryce Miller steps in to take strike one. Huckabee doing a good job on the mound again tonight. Pitch is going to be grinded towards the shortstop. Plays it on a gravy hop. Throws over to first. It's the first out of the inning. That's the kind of hops I always like to see. <laughs> yeah. And then things come out there and they bounce up about waist high. Of course, what happens when you miss that one is you get made fun of. For, yeah. But Looks like tennis is finally ended their evening over there. Lights are off. They do their games early. Yeah, they try <laughs> to stay out of the cold. Yeah. Well, he bring up it. Jamison Andrews, and he called that a he strike. called it a strike, yeah. So, we'll take it, but it wasn't a strike, Blue. Pitch is going to be grounded to third base. Kane Kinnick fields, throws over to first. Good job, Kane. Pretty that was a little tri that's a trickier hop. Yeah, that's a little hotter shot to handle. Anything on the corners, first and third, anything on the corners is – you don't get to really play that hop. It's you play what it gives you. So, nice job. Brings up Philip Ken Cannon. He takes strike one. Playing third base for him tonight. Ball will be away. Ball one. Pitch is going to be lifted in the center field. Rez goes back, makes the play. Third out of the inning. Keep going, Huck. A good job. Well, Huck was doing a great job. So, sir, swapping sides. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on X Sports Network. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. All right, we're back. Keegan McCaffrey's going to step in. First pitch, off speed. Keegan swings through for strike one. So he swung through that and kind of awkwardly. Ball's going to be lifted in the right field right down the line. Right footer comes on, makes the play. Bring up Ryder Blackwood. Matthew Luffman will be on deck. Ryder scored her first run. He reached on an arrow. First at bat. Squires the bunt there. Third baseman comes pretty strong. 
Got to figure out why at night time this camera view looks a little orangish, yellowish. Ball's going to be grounded to the second baseman. He makes an excellent play on that one. Does pull the first baseman. And maybe not. Brent, they called him out. They called him out. Brent's not arguing. He did call him out. That was, look, Ryder hit one a while ago that was a gravy play, and the uh, short the second baseman made an error on it. Like I said, you could tell he was very disappointed in it. And and then, look at that play he made. Yeah, that was a great play. Yeah, very nice. So, I thought he might have pulled his foot. Coach Blackwood didn't argue a bit, so. We'll bring up Matthew Luffman. Cecil Williams will be on deck. Matthew's going to hit one towards the shortstop. He fields clean. Throws over to first base. Ooh, Matthew beats Matthew it. Safe. Tell him Matthew beats it. First baseman made a good scoop on that play. Here's a great play while the coach is arguing. That'll bring up Cecil Williams. I didn't see it. Let's see here. Mm. Mm. I'd say but don't but the uh coach has got a pretty good argument. Yes. That was an excellent play by your shortstop. Unless the umpire stood over there and thought he missed the call a minute call ago. Call before and he give one back. I mean that was I thought Riders was closer than that one to be I honest did with too. you. Well I was trying to fast forward to that spot but I couldn't. So. Bring up Cecil Williams with two outs. The runner at first. Remember, Cecil had a uh, RBI base hit his first at bat. He and did. Then, doing a good job. And then scored the second run on a couple of pass balls. Pitch is going to be in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. I have another hit like Cecil had last time. It's going to score a run. Matthew Luffman does move up to second base. But Graham Howell will be on deck for Summertown. So one ball, no strikes, two outs. Runner at second. Cecil swings through that one. A little late on that one. Evens the count up at 1-1. One, one. Luke Jones comes set here and delivers. Ball's going to be hit down the first baseline. No foul. Just foul. He's just going to have to come all the way back and get back in the box here with one ball, two strikes. Again, this is another one of them at bats that you got to go to work. Yes. If it's anywhere close, you got to put a bat on it and try to get something else. Ball's going to be down. Makes it 2-2. Two -two. Jones comes set on the mound for Richland. Delivers this pitch. Cecil's going to hit it into left field pretty strongly. He's going to get over the left fielder's head. Cecil Williams going to have another RBI double. So he's going to cruise in the second base there. Yeah, that's a nice piece yeah, of hitting Yeah, nice hit right Cecil. there. I don't think anybody over there was uh, – he does the karate kid move out there on second base. I like to see that. I don't it's, think the left fielder was expecting that kind of pop out of Cecil. Yeah, no. I don't either. I was not expecting <laughs> that kind either. of pop out of Cecil. Glad to see it, though. But yeah. My goodness, what's gotten into him? Well, I coached him some over the summer in some travel ball, and he hit the ball well. We'll bring up Graham Howe. I think, takes. I think Joe's taking credit. No. It's called strike. <laughs> he was hitting that well whenever I started coaching him. I'm yeah. just saying he oh, hits the ball well. Yeah. <laughs> Pitch was a little outside. He did on have the a good summer. Pitch going to be up and in on him for ball one. Even the count up at one ball, one strike. I don't know if y'all realize or not, but Cecil Williams gets credit for all three runs on the board. Ball's going to be up for ball yeah, two. Joe's asking, or Nathan's asking what this that is. That is right the Sud sign. That's what now? The Sud sign. The uh, Summertown Utility District sign. That's what that is? Yes. Yes. I've seen it last night. You can see it over here on this bigger screen. Going to take strike. That ball was looked a little low. but 
Summertown Utility District. Okay. SUD, SUDS. That's what it is. Well, I, I, probably a lot of people wondering what that was. Ball's going to be fouled away. Out of play over here behind us. Uh, I noticed it last night, Will, and I kept staring at it, trying to figure out what house that built, what building that is, and I finally figured out last night that it was the SUD sign. So that's the reason I knew what it was when okay. you asked. Well, I'm glad, so, I'm glad I hadn't even noticed that. Yeah. Graham Howe's going to step back in. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Cecil Williams setting at second base. Graham swings through that one for strike three in the inning. But we do play another run. Credit to Cecil Williams with two RBIs tonight. And the other run, he scored on pass balls, having a great night. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. All right, we're back. Still got Huckable on the mound here in the top of the fifth inning. First nice pitch strike. Good first pitch. It's going to be Gage Witt. Another one. Ah. Mm. Ball be up. So, one ball, one strike. Gage is 0 for 1 today with a strike out. Yeah. Pitch going to be grinded to the shortstop. Ryder Blackwood handles it. Throws over to first. Don't want to jinx him. Does get the out. Ryder's having a good, good game. game over there. I'd like to see him get rid of that ball just about a half a step quicker. Just to give my first baseman just a little bit of time. Yeah. So. Bring up Wilson Sheary. Shari. 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 And I credit our research department yeah. for finding that out beforehand. Takes ball one. Good job, research department. <laughs> that being there? Will Pettis. Yeah, that's backing up and finding Timmy and Pink Shirts research department. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ancient history department. <laughs> no. 30, 32 years ago. God. Now, now you're making me feel old, yep. Will. Yep. Oh, man. Called strike. Makes it two balls and I'm one strike. I'm not going to tell you how old I was on that day. No, Jimmy. you don't. I don't even want. Just stay out of this, Joe. He was two years old, I think. <laughs> I was. Yeah. Because you're the same age. So, do you remember it. the parade? No. God, thought you might have some Who remembers flashbacks? anything from there, too? I don't know. I, I thought he might have some flashbacks. I would have been three in that, so. that December of that year. As he does take ball four, yeah. get his base. I don't even remember that. Well, I can't even remember why I had a pink shirt on. So. <laughs> so. One out, runner at first. Got Tucker Mayo hitting in the nine spot today. Squares the bunt, fouls it off. Zach. So we'll be yawning on air, Timmy? Yep. I think it's these pitchers tonight. Man, they work slow. <laughs> 
trying to rock me to sleep out there. And it is a later start, too. It's my bedtime. Pitch is delivered. Zach picks out now the dirt clean. Keep a runner at first. One ball, one strike, one out. Runner at first. And Tucker Mayo then back to the top of the lineup. Yeah, it looks like Keegan had to retrieve a ball up over there. Are they warming somebody up? Edwards should be on deck for pick over to first. Grayson blocks that one up. Richland's got the sound effects going full force in the dugout. You ain't going to sing us a song to remind us of it? No. <laughs> Dang. I was hoping. <laughs> We called strike two. Got a little tunes out of it, Mount Pleasant. Yeah, know. we did. We were delirious that night. <laughs> that was that was a long day. You've been here about as long tonight, Will. Yeah, at least I'm indoors tonight. Look, we come set, delivers, strike, strike three. I think Zach popped out like he was going to throw that ball around. I want to do that. We'll bring up Edwards. We'll be two outs. Huckabee's uh, little brother pitched in the game before this. Is that, am I right? They're brothers. He did. Yes. yes. We come set, delivers. Hey. Good job, Zach. I think Zach may have got food on that pitch a little bit. The way, oh. he had to, the way he had to fight back in to get there. Brings up Carter Edwards. with uh, He is one for two today with a single and a ground out. Pitch is going to be in the dirt for ball two. Umpire's going to clean the plate Umpire off. calls time a yawn. Mm, man. Right, we'll get, I may be the only man that's ever yawned on. If you keep yawning, I'm just going to open this broadcast. window. I don't care. I didn't do anything. I, I didn't do anything either. wrong, Will. <laughs> I'll turn it. I'll turn it. <laughs> called ball three. Makes right, it 3 0. So three balls, no strikes, two outs. Got a runner at first. Anybody been warming? Mm, no. I haven't seen anybody. They may be jogging in the dugout trying to get warm. Oh, come uh, on. Called ball four. That looked pretty good from here. Yeah, it wasn't a bad looking pitch. Coach Burleson's going to come out and have a little visit with Huckaba. Well, let's take a look at this pitch before we go to commercial. Hopefully. Bring up number seven, Jackson. Might not be able to see it. Looks pretty close to me, Will. We'll yeah. take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you, as an employee, a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level. All right, we're back. <laughs> Little talk's over. Huckable delivers here. We ball one down and away. We do have two outs with two on now. One at first, one at second. It's going to be Jack Jackson. He's one for two today with a single and a fly out. Going to hit a hard line ground ball to second base. Matthew Luffman Field steps on the bag himself. Third out of the inning. We get good out job. of another one. Good, good mound visit. Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll take a little break as they're swapping up. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Are you looking for a job where you can easily balance work and home life? By becoming a local driver with Southeast Carriers, 
We can guarantee multiple benefits and a base pay starting at $17 per hour, along with a work-life balance so you can spend equal time on the road as with family. We also provide the latest updated equipment and technology to make your job as easy as possible. Southeast Cares isn't just a company, it's a family, and we would love for you to be a part of it. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. All right, we're back as Grayson Burleson steps in the box to lead off the bottom of the fifth inning. Pitch is going to be up and like in on Grayson. Do have a pitching change. It's number six, Ken Cannon. Philip Ken Cannon. <clears throat> Pitch is going to be in on him. I can't figure out what changes they made. I can't see on the field, but Miller, number 20, was hitting for Jones. So if he didn't go in, they've killed the DH and had to replace him with somebody else. Grayson's going to foul that ball back. I thought that was his pitch there. Their numbers are hard to read on their backs out there. Red outlines on them black that jerseys. Black and just outlines. He's delivered. That's way off Fell the mark. Fell out of his hand almost. Yeah, he's, he tried to hold on that in a little long. Makes it three balls, one strike. Nobody out. Grayson steps back in to get the 3-1 pitch. Pitch is going to be up for ball four. D armors his leg. <laughs> Jogs down to first base. And that'll bring up Aiden Perez. If Aiden Perez steps in with no outs and a runner at first. Good bunt by Aiden. He beats it out at first. Oh, Grayson's trying to get the third. He, he does. Wins. Good, by, good <sighs> job backing up by the left fielder. That's there. a good job by Grayson going first to third on that bunt. But so they're going to call him. They call him out at first. Uh, well, here, watch it. Ain't no way. No, he's there. He's there by 
I mean, a full step there. These umps are going to love us. Scopes Burson's hounding it right. He comes and asks the home plate umpire before he goes out and talks to the field umpire. The field umpire is going to make him come all the way to him. <laughs> We'll take a little break as he's having his conversation. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf. And this is Hustler Country. So they have a conversation. The uh, home plate umpire and the second base umpire gets together, has a conversation. They do still call him out. Kane Kinnick's going to step in with one out and a runner that, at third. That sacrifice bunt did give Grayson two bases, though. So. Yes. Kane late. Kinnick swings through that one. The bunt got his job done. It did, absolutely. So. I'll be okay. Just a nice fly ball to the outfield. Kane's going to hit a bullet at the second baseman. He bobbles it and has to go get it. Can't pick it up what you get when the infield comes in. That ball was hit hard right that at the second a, baseman. Was. Bullet. That will be an error on the second baseman, but, you know, I, you hate it for the guy. But Grayson Burleson does score. Kane gets an RBI on it. And he still had a chance right there being yeah, that could, close. They yeah. just couldn't pick it up. Bring up Zach Staggs with Kane Kinnick at first. Again, that's Grayson's hustle going from first to third yes. on the bunt that got us that run. Zach's going to foul that one off. Well, and that's something that these guys need to understand in this is on them bunts, if you're at first, you watch the rotation when he squares the bunt. If your shortstop goes to second and your third baseman comes in, there's nobody at third. So for them to get all the way back and get you tagged out is tough to do. And Kenneth gets a good lead at first. We're going to back pick over there. He's back standing up. There's that uh, three-step secondary he gets. Draws a lot of attention. One ball, one strike, two outs. As Ken Cannon delivers home. Zach's going to swing through that one for strike two. Pitcher comes set here, ready to deliver. We ball away. It's two balls, two strikes, one out. Kane Kinnick at first. So the Rota Baseball is at Columbia Academy tonight, not being live streamed. Ball is going to be lifted behind the first baseman. First baseman makes the play. Second out of the inning. Uh, Loretta, is it CA, you say? Yeah. I want to look up on NFHS, see if, I, if their scoreboard's working. You know, those NFHS cameras, you never can tell. I can pull it up on Game Changer if you want to score. All right, that'd be great. Bring up Keegan McCafferty with two outs. Kane still at first. Kane, Kane, was was, Kane was going on that. Let's, Keegan fouls it off. The great thing about NFHS, you pay a fee and you still get to watch ads when you go to it. <laughs> Trying to find out the score. It is top of the fifth. It is tied four to four. Okay. It's good game at CA. 
it's called balls. Keegan squared the bunt and pulled back to slice it. See, I've got it pulled up there. The scoreboard ain't working. Keegan squares the bunt. Kane is gone. Keegan's going to slap one. Hey, it worked. That's, right it worked five, great. Six hole. Worked great because what it done when Kane left, it pulled the shortstop from his position. Keegan McCaffrey just pulls back and slaps it through that 5-6 hole into the – well, actually, where the shortstop was playing originally. So, with Kane moving, it pulls the shortstop. Ends well, up working out great. I'll tell you, I have seen us attempt that a lot this year, and I'm glad to see that work to perfection right there. Going to bring, bring up, up Ryder Blackwood. Matthew Luffin will be on deck. Ryder swings through the first one. So, do have two on, two outs. Got Kane at second, Keegan at first. Summertown has played another run here to make it four to one. Ryder's going to call timeout. Pitcher picks a second and hits Kane in the ribs. Yeah, that's well, tough Nine's right been, there. Nine's been hitting both sides. He got hit in the ribs last night. He had a baseball print on his other side where he was batting. Yeah. Nine's got hit in the other side, so we're going to toughen him up a little bit. Doesn't look like he slowed his lead down none. No. I don't. I don't think anything will, really. They pick over to first. It gets away. Everybody's moving. Grayson sending Kane from second. He's there. He's safe. Ball come out. Yeah, he kicked as he slid in for safer. Went in pretty hard feet first. We'll flip the catcher over. Catcher loses the ball. Makes it five to one. The rider will move, or Keegan will move up to third. Do the glasses stay on here, Timmy? Uh, yes. No, he I had them in his hand. Well, I think they stayed on. Yeah, they're still on, but I don't think he can see out of them, so he took them <laughs> off. <laughs> so he like that camera angle of that. Yeah, I do. Ryder Blackwood comes up. The runner with one strike, the runner at third now. See, Mark. that's Keegan being the luckiest base runner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They pick, they pick at there. him, and they throw it to right field, I'm telling you. It's yeah. just Keegan been on base. Keegan should get the RBI there. Oh. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runner at third and Keegan McCaffrey. Ryder Blackwood in the box. Ball's going to be hit towards the second baseman. He fields it clean. Throws over to first. Third out of inning. Summertown does play another run. Makes it five to one. Going into the top of the seventh. I thought it was top of the six. Well, the scoreboard said we just scored. I think they've got it messed up. We'll this be going is to the top of the six. Yeah, we scored two, but they've put one in the six. So, they've messed it up out there. So, yes, we are going into the top of the six. I'm sorry. So, so well, I was just making sure I, I, I wasn't wrong. Yeah, no. Well, <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, well, if you was, we would have done called you out on yeah. it, I guarantee you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't reached across me tonight and hit buttons. So, we're doing, we're doing a lot better than All we right. usually do. All right. But. We'll take a little break. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. 
Since 1986, Southeast Carriers, Inc. has been a family-owned and operated business in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We strive to have updated equipment and technology to make our driver's job easier. We offer large company pay and benefits with a small company atmosphere. Are you tired of just being a number when you call your current company? Here you will be known on a first-name basis, and all we ask is for you to give us... All right, we're back. Is Coat and Trimble going to step in, number 27? Huck, well, no changes on the field for Summertown that I can see. Of course, I do got my spectacles on tonight, but I can't really see the outfield. Don't look like any changes have been made. I don't think In feels the been. same. We still have Huckable on the mound, and I can see Zach behind the plate. So, so we got Grammy's brother in the – in the press box with us. Yeah, he's trying doing to the run, music. Yeah, doing the walk-up music, yeah. trying to run the box or not. Well, he's gotten where he's doing it better than Macy yeah. was for the middle school. He, so. He's learning. Yeah. Ball's going to be fouled off, make it 2-1. I think that was fouled off his foot, and the umpire kind of watched it. And when we picked it up, he said, foul ball. And I think Zach looked at him and said, it hit him in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, okay. But a couple delivers. Be called strike two. I got Huckett just 61 pitches here at the top of the sixth. Yeah. Throwing whale. Ball's going to be lifted into center field. That's going to be down. Yeah, Perez going to have to play that on the hop. That's a good base hit right there. Bring up Bryce Miller. His Trimble was two for three with a double. He just had that base hit. Made him two for three today. Nice pitch. We called strike one on Miller. Huck will come set here, delivers. Ball's going to be hit be into field. right field. Keegan McCarthy's coming across, oh, makes the play. Go. Catches another one one-handed. Me and him was laughing about that before the game. I told him, I said, it's fine. No, I can handle it, but when you drop one of them out there one-handed, I'm going to hammer you on the radio, buddy. <laughs> he said, I can handle it. You know, Keegan, Keegan's a funny kid, man. Well, it looks He's on your side, of I mean. That will give us one out. Brings up Jamison Andrews. Ball is hit into center field pretty well. Perez makes the play and gets it in for the second out. Good job out there. Do have some action in Summertown's bullpen down here, but, I mean, Hooks at 65 pitches through – Five and two-thirds. That'll bring up Philip Ken Cannon, who is pitching for Richland now. That is Braden Keaton over there. Ball's going to be fouled off behind the first base dugout. Look at your son down there with his hand in his pocket. He ain't got one of them electronic warmers with him, do you, that you don't share with nobody? Uh, he does have the electronic warmer tonight. He came I'm in inside. here and got it earlier. <laughs> yeah. And Cannon is 0 for 2 today with a ground out and a fly out. Takes that pitch. That should have been a strike. I don't know. I don't know what he called. What did he call that? I was watching the throw. Says 0-2 on the scoreboard. Yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah, it was a strike. Okay. We we'll come set. Delivers that fastball outside corner. One ball, two strikes. Not a bad miss. No, that ain't bad on 0-2. Runner at second with two outs. Called strike three on the outside corner to end the inning. Good job by Huck. Where's he at? 68? 68. 68. 69. 69 pitches through six innings. That's a pretty good outing from Huck tonight. So, uh, I don't know. We don't leave him in there and let him finish this thing. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9.
on fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931-201-9098 so we can help you make the switch today. All right, back here for the bottom of the sixth inning as uh, Richland has made another pitching change. As uh, Ken Cannon will go back to third, Mayo will come to the mound. Matthew Luffman is going to step in for Summertown. Miss Kim Pettis is listening or not, but she got her some good screen time there on the break. She loves it when I do that. Loves it. She's trying to show her some love, Will. Yep. Matthew takes ball one. Or no, I one. thought he called it a he strike. Called it a strike. We'll see. Yeah, he did. <clears throat> Tar. That's what I get for watching the pitch and not the umpire. He swings through that one for strike two, so it's no balls, two strikes, nobody out. He's going to take that one down for ball one. Be Cecil Williams, Cone Deck. Matthew takes up and in. Makes it two balls, two strikes. Get Matthew on tonight. Cecil's having. There's a good chance Matthew will score. Yes, there he is. Going to be ball down. Makes it three balls, two strikes. Nobody out.
Why y'all come sat here and delivers? We ball four. So he was down 0-2. Yeah, down 0-2 and draws a walk. Good job there by Matthew. Some of those pitches were close. Brings up Cecil Williams, which is having a amazing night. And then we've got Mason Neal on deck. Be hitting for Graham Howe. Cecil squares the bunt. Can't make contact with it. It will be called strike one. Coach Burson runs through all these signs again. Pick over to first. Matthew gets back safe. And it's hurt the boys in the dugout. Hey, Matthew, get a little more. It's going to be delivered up and in for ball one. Much at one ball, one strike. Stay hot right here, Cecil. Pitch is delivered. Cecil swings through that one for strike two. I think he was trying to hit that one over the wall. He hit one off the wall for a double. He's last hit bat. Yeah, that's He's swing. two for two today. I say that left fielder's kind of scooted back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's back he a little more. He gave him some room. But I think Cecil bowed up on that in a little. One ball, two strikes. Make the adjustment right here. Put something in play. Cecil's going to foul that one back over her head. He has choked up on the bat, it looked like. Not as bad as that kid from Wayne County last night. No. Man, he was choked up four inches. He was. Which I don't mind that. I mean, you know, you get two strikes on, you choke up a little bit. Put the thing in play. Do what you got to do. Put it in play. That's it. He's going to hit a ground ball. Back up we'll the middle up for a base middle. hit. Put Cecil Williams three for three tonight. That kid. With two RBIs and a run scored. That'll bring up number one, Mason Neal. Coach Burson's going to run through his signs. I don't know what he's got in mind. I know what I would have in mind. Grayson's throwing baseballs into the catcher. Grayson Burleson's on deck. Let's see what Neil can do right here, Timmy. Called Square strike. Bunt. That ball was it's Coach Burleson's on to him. That ball was down and away. I mean, that was going to be tough to bunt. That, I mean, if he would have got the bat to it, it wouldn't yeah. have been anywhere. No, it would have been foul. He wouldn't have been able to put it where he wanted to. So, everybody's got a pretty good lead. First baseman's creeping in. Mason's take strike two. So, no balls, two strikes, nobody out. Cecil Williams at first base. Matthew Luffman standing at second. Pitcher comes set here and delivers. Mason's going to foul that one off to stay in the at bat. Got to stay in it right here. Old Coach Burleson had some conversations with him a few weeks ago about just having at bats when you get two strikes. Because yes. we just wasn't doing it. We've, we got struggled a, with that for it's sure. Got, it's got a lot better in the last week or so. Ball's going to be grounded towards the second baseman. He fields, flips, one out, two. And they do right. roll it up, turn a double play. I didn't think they'd be able to double him off. So. Going to bring up Grayson Burleson. We do have two outs for the runner at third. Aiden Perez will be on deck. Grayson has changed batting gloves again. Try her luck and something different. Maybe he needs to wear one of each. Hey, that may work. Ball's grounded towards the third baseman. Third baseman fields it off his glove. Grayson's going to beat it out at first base. It will score another run. Maybe the batting gloves work. Hey, 
or maybe it's, they got the walk up music right because they came in here and told us we had his music. Yeah, was doing his music wrong. Oh yeah. They just need to be. Yeah, they could have left it up to us. Gonna bring up Aiden Perez with two outs. Well, they definitely don't want us in control of that. Grayson's gone. Aiden's gonna hit a ground ball uh, in the hole cause where the second baseman was. And Grayson's going to third again. That's part of it. Now you bring up Kane, Kane Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah, the runner, I mean, uh, the second baseman was already at the bag when the ball was hit. Yeah. That was a good piece of hitting there by yeah. Aiden. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, that's what happens when you move runners. Kane Kennedy's going to step in. Zach Staggs will be on deck. Got two outs. Runner at first and third. Aiden Perez at first with a little speed. Yeah, I'd look to see him go either first or second pitch right here. I mean, the catcher's going to step out and run through some signs. Aiden's not got much of a lead over there for sure. Pitch is delivered, pops away from the catcher. Aiden's going to move up. Puts two in the scoring position here for Kane Kinnick. Score is six to one. The Summertown has played one run here in the bottom of the sixth. Base hit right here would open it up for us. They're going to walk him. They're going to put Kane on. Is that his first intentional walk of the season? It is. Come on. That'll bring up Zach Staggs. Bring up Zach Staggs. So intentionally walk Kane to get to Zach Staggs, who had the three homers Monday night. Two outs, bases loaded. Ball's in the dirt. Catcher does a good job. That was a good he job sure by the catcher was. right there. Uh, Grayson down that line pretty good. I think Coach Burdison just looked at it and said, don't run us out of this inning. Yeah. So. I think Grayson thought it was going to get by. Zach swings through that one. Strike one. Pitcher comes set, delivers. We ball outside. Another good stop by the catcher. But, you know, we've got one of the, you know, all these places we've been all year, we've talked about how far the backstop is. We've got one of the shorter backstops that you're used yes. to, you know. And it's not short. I mean, it's, but it's one of the shorter ones we've seen this year. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Bases loaded. Zach's going to hit a high chopper towards third. He fields, throws over to first base. Third out of the inning. Summertown does play another run going into the top of the seventh inning. We'll see what kind of changes we got as we come back. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals.
Yeah. All right, we're back. Huckable steps back on the mound. Coming in here at 69 pitches. First pitch strike. That is 22 gauge width. There's a there was a Mayo in the original lineup. Was well, someone a Mayo commented they love watching our ball dog grounded to short. All right, good one. play by Ryder. It's another one of them. I wish he was just just a a smidge bit quicker getting rid of it. There's our ball dog. Look here. Yeah. Bring up number 33, Wilson Shirey. He's got it. <laughs> He's ready. Pitch is going to be fouled off. He loves watching the ball and the ball games, but I've seen it before. If a ball goes over there, he don't mess with it. No, uh -huh. he won't touch it. He won't. Touch it. You can <laughs> try to hand it to him, and he won't take it. Uh -uh. So we call him a ball dog. I don't know if he can call him a ball dog or not because he don't. Because he, he don't, really don't go after the. He ball. don't like the ball. Ooh, like a breaking pitch that didn't break. Yes. Yeah. Sure, he is one for one today with a single and a walk. I can't hear their dugout, but I'm sure they were yelling at him to wear it. I know ours yeah, would have been. Our boys would have been. Uncle delivers. That ball's going to be lifted into center field. Perez has got a beat on it. Be the second out of the inning. That'll bring up Tucker Mayo. Here with two outs. The top of the seventh inning. Delivered, swung through for strike one. Next pitch is a breaking pitch. Going to be hit foul down the first baseline. Ah, Grayson Burleson almost made an excellent sliding play on that ball. Looked like it went right off the heel. You probably got a good video of it, didn't you, Will? I think so. It looked like it come right out of the heel of his glove. Ah, you didn't see, couldn't see the glove. It looked like he had it in his glove. It just bounced right out of the heel. That's good effort right yes. there. Next pitch is going to be a ball in the dirt. I'd like to count one ball, two strikes. We do have two outs. Mayo is 0 for 2 today with a fly out and a strikeout in the game. Up comes set, delivers. Fastball up. Ball two, even to count up. Not a bad spot. Don't mind that. One ball, two strikes. Makes it 2-2. Two -two. Huck delivers. That has been a strike sometimes tonight, but it wasn't this time. Makes it three balls, two strikes, two outs. Huck comes set here. Delivers that pitch, and it is hit well in the left field. I think it's got a chance, and it does. That right. ball is out of here. Well, that previous strike would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll, you know, we – you know, we get a home run, which is my feelings only is I think we struck the kid out. But good, good shot there. Yeah, it was yeah. a great – look, good piece of hitting. He hit that ball well and it left the bat. I had good feeling it was leaving. It's going to bring back up the top of their lineup. It's be Brandon Edwards. Summertown up by four. Score of six to two. Pitches in there for call strike one. one. <coughs> Pitch is going to be hit hard through the three four hole in the right field. King McCafferty fields. To bring up Jack Jackson. Richland does have a runner on first with two outs. Well, comes set here and delivers. That should be. That's called ball. Hook comes set, runner at first. Delivers to the plate. It's going to be in the dirt. It's going to get away from Zach. Look at the previous pitch. Here. Edwards does move up. Runner in scoring position for him. Oh, 
Hook steps off there, takes him a little breather. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Pitch is going to be outside. Makes it 3 0. Pitch is going to be in there for a strike. Hook gritting his teeth a little bit out there. 86 pitches. He wants to get out of this game. Delivers. It's going to be called strike two. That's a good pitch. <laughs> he leaned He leaned in there. I mean, that uh, was, he was leaned uh, over yeah. the plate on that one. Yeah. It, <clears throat> called strike two. Makes it three balls, two strikes, two outs. Ball's right. going to be lined back up the middle for a base hit. Perez comes in, fields. They hold the runner at third. It's not a bad idea. I mean, it's that run don't really mean nothing to Rich. don't. That'll bring up Colton Trimble. They got runners first and third, two outs. Jason's coming out. Jason's going to come out and have a little mound visit here. We'll take a little break with him. This is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. All right, we're back. So, we'll bring up Colton. Not it, right? Is it? Colton Trimble. Colton Trimble? Yes. Uh, yeah. Was, uh, Coach Barson just went out and had a conversation with Huck. He's going to try to let him finish it here. Ball's going to be lifted down the right field line. Is going to be in foul territory. Is that a Summertown guy and a no. wrestling guy hanging that out is, out there? Well, Cooper, that's, that's Gavin Schrader. It's, that's Cooper. That's his buddy Gavin. And Gavin. Yeah, and Gavin. Yeah. Hanging out down the right field line out there. Give him a little screen time. So, no balls, one strike, two outs here in the top of the seventh inning. Richland has played one run. Do have runners standing at first and third. Pitch is delivered. Swung through for strike two. Tried to check his swing. Goes down 0-2. Don't lose him right here, Huck. Mm -mm. Get me a ground Go ball somewhere. Trimble is two for three today with a double, there a fly out, and a single. Ooh. This, <laughs> it was a drop, th drop third strike. Zach come out and got it, and uh, Grayson had to kind of reach through the runner to catch it. Summertown does get the victory here. As that's the third out in the top of the seventh inning. Six to two victory over Richland. Hey, great job by Huckabee there. Been great. Able to throw uh, the whole job. game. What what do we have? 80, 91. 91 pitches. 91 pitches tonight in a complete game for Huck. That's, you know, and he was like most of them, his pitch count went up in the seventh. Yes, yeah. it did. So, um, and like I said, I think he struck the kid out that hit the home run. Uh, I'll have to go when I get home tonight. I'll have to make my wife mad and sit down and watch it. <laughs> but, uh, I, I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I turn it on on myself or my cell phone, lay down in the bed and turn it up really loud. And she gets, she gets mad. So get some AirPods, Timmy. Yeah. You know, Elijah pitched for us at Spring Hill and done a really good really job. Good up job. There yeah. too. Elijah's, Elijah's had some great outings this year for us. I mean, I mean that, that's, that's, that's a plus. That's man. big for us. That huge. saves some, um, Save some pitching for tomorrow night's game. Yes, absolutely. I mean, our our younger guys have come in this year that, you know, we really wasn't expecting. I mean, we knew what was going to get out of Grayson. We knew what was going to get out of Jackson. We knew what was going to get out of Keegan, you know, and uh, uh, still waiting to see if we get anything out of Kane or not, which is doubtful. But, 
I feel a lot better about it because of what Huck's is, Huck has done, because of what Knox Cowton has done on the mound. You know, Ryder Blackwood, Ryder Blackwood he's thrown has come nine in. innings. Yeah, uh, hey, Ryder's Braden come in. Keaton. Braden Keaton. You know, because of what these younger guys have come in and done, it, it makes me feel a lot better about the position we're in and the way we're going. When I looked at the schedule, I asked Jason earlier, I said, dude, do we have the pitching? He said, no. <laughs> but we're playing, you know, six games in a week. Yeah. So, you know, because there was one stretch there. We went to the beach and played four days. So, there was a stretch of, what, 11 days? Yeah. we played 10 games? Yeah. 10 games? No, 10 games in 13 days. Yeah. It's 10 games in 13 days. So, and but what they've done, and I think it may have helped them because they got innings. They, they did. They, they're looking better. They've got innings at these games. So, but uh, we will be back here tomorrow night against a region possible regional game against Cannon County. Yeah. Uh, we'll see who we put on the mound tomorrow night and uh, see if they can't make it work again. But this is Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X.